Hey guys, well you have to come. Yeah. Otherwise you're not in focus. Now you're in focus. Hey, this is Mickey. And Mickey just looked at the um, screen over there and he said, "We're gorgeous. <laughs> We're gorgeous with this sweater, Henning." Yeah. I am the one that right now is not wearing the ugliest sweater in the room, which is very rare, people. <laughs> It's very rare. I don't know. It makes me feel more comfortable, more confident of myself. I mean, who wouldn't want a double-headed unicorn Pegasus llama? <laughs> What was the Spanish word you used for that? <laughs> Acojonante. This is freaking... I hear cojon in there. Cojones. That's, that's cojones. <laughs> cojones. Con queso. <laughs> cojones con queso. <laughs> no, no, that's, that's something I don't want at all. It definitely <laughs> not with cheese. That's really disgusting. <laughs> X, what do you want again? <laughs> I he can't wants, help you. He wants to know what we're about to do. I love you too. We are, well, I, I'll tell you, X. Okay, what we're doing is we're looking at Schecter guitars because a lot of the fans out there said that I only review expensive guitars. And they're right because companies put their best foot forward. Mm -hmm. They want to show in videos and with influencers what the really good stuff is so that in the affordable range that possibly you want or can afford, um, their brand name pops up, even though that those guitars are not really comparable to the expensive ones. So, yeah. Fender, Schecter, Ibanez, all these brands, they put the good guitars in their advertising. Mm -hmm. Now, I fully understand that, but that means that I have a choice. What do I do? So I called up Schecter, my buddy Marty, and I said, hey, Marty, uh, I don't charge you for these videos because I usually get paid. Yes, I do. <laughs> so how about I make a couple of videos for you free of charge, um, get my buddy Mickey here from Spain to help. That way it's less work for me. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, we have some information for you. Of course, if I'm not getting you know paid, no guarantee what's in the box, no guarantee what I say. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um, hey, uh, you have videos too in Spain, right? On what? Don't yes, in guitar. Lift up your beautiful shirt there. Da, 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 da. Guitarista.info, where you will find reviews in Spanish too. Or Le Spanish, as they say in French. <laughs> Le Spanish. <laughs> So we have here on the chopping block in the box the Shakta Banshee 6 Extreme CB, which clocks in at Toman right now at 499. Mm -hmm. So we're expecting a certain thing for 499, and there's certain things we don't expect. I don't expect locking tuners, no. I don't expect a two-piece body, I don't expect, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, all the guitars I picked, I picked without tremolos because in the lower price range, please stay away from them. It's asking for trouble. Uh, so But fixed in, this bridges. in this particular case, it's a vintage tremolo or is it hardtail? I think it's a hardtail. Okay. Well, we might also just take it out of the box. Let's go. Um, we need a knife thing. X, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> the box, we didn't need that because the box yeah. is open. Okay, so we just have to open it. Uh, we just ripped that. Yeah, this is a, a bit sticky. This, yep. this paper is a bit sticky. We're not dumb. <laughs> well, we're also dumb. We're also dumb, but the paper is sticky. <laughs> okay, right. let me take this off because I don't want that on there. So, mm -hmm. got a good weight to it. Okay. Um, for rules, really wide uh, four-point screw thingy there. Mm -hmm. Um... It's got a maple neck with a scarf Back joint. Here, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, teta de guitarra. Teta de guitarra. Teta de guitarra. Teta. Guitar tit. Um, <laughs> check the branded tuners. We don't know who makes them. I'm gonna say probably this could be Grover. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yes, right? it's like a Grover. Yeah. Um, how many parts do we have on the body? Hard to say here. No, actually, here, 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 here we can see on the... Wait, let's show that in the favorite cam. Mm -hmm. Right here on that fake binding, which is just taped off, we can actually see the body and we're going to count how many pieces the body is, mm -hmm. which in this case is, let's see. That's one. That's two. Do you think it's... I, I count three. Do you think it's three? Hmm. I count three. Not, not a bad thing compared to the previous one. Well, which is weird because the C6 Pro, mm -hmm. which clocks in at 150 bucks more, had a six-piece body. Hmm. That, that makes very little sense. Okay. Um, we have a humbucker single coil thing here. I'm gonna leave the sticker on there. Um, really pretty 
Proloid three ply pickguard. I like the, they chose Proloid. Yeah, I like I, that. I, I love Proloid. Um, whoa! Are you fucking kidding me? It has a maple binding on the fretboard for so four ninety nine. Look at that. Yeah, that's ridiculous. That's real maple binding. Look at look at this. Don't you think it's a difference in the Barney finish? Do you think it's a binding? I think that's a binding. Okay. Wait. It has to be a binding because it's on the fretboard. Otherwise, yeah. you would have to. No, that's a binding. Okay. That's a maple binding on the fretboard for four ninety nine. Uh, that's pretty impressive. We have a little bit overdone. I'm gonna say inlays here. A okay. little bit, a little bit simpler. I think would have been fine. Yeah, this is like a logo from a superhero, don't you think? It's, it's, it's the thing is. You you get what you pay for, which means you're paying for the inlays. Mm -hmm. That is something that has to be done mm -hmm. and that money goes into. So the question is, where does the money go out of? Yeah. With these inlays, that means they have to save somewhere else. Are they saving on the pickups? Are, are they saving on the bridge? Are they saving on the electronics? I'd rather have no inlays or very simple inlays, but a better basis of a guitar. So if you see something really frilly, like really nice... Two, three, <laughs> two, three uh, color uh, or material inlays. It, it says to me, somewhere else they had to save money. Um, I love matching headstocks, but again, that's something you put in money that has to go out somewhere else. Yeah. Um, I like the. I mean, this is clearly a veneer hmm. on a, a mahogany body. This is a quilted maple veneer, which is I expect it to be. Well, it's mahogany. You can yeah, see mahogany it. body. Yeah. It's a relatively flat looking veneer. It's not very deep, but it's nice. I like the color. Mm -hmm. um, we have a Graftec XL Tusk saddle, uh, 42 millimeters here, which is 1.65, blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah. We have a 25.51 thing and uh, four with uh, and the, uh, a 24 uh, prints. Mm. And um, five uh, and uh, <laughs> cast, check their custom hardtail. Yeah, who gives a rat's ass? Let's play the damn thing. Okay. Um, Would you have chosen a uh, six pegs in line over a uh, three and three for this model? It really depends. It really depends. Uh, I think on this, it's okay. It's okay. Check mm -hmm. can go overboard with too much trim, especially on the, I think the uh, Omen or the Hellraisers with a lot of Mother of Pearl and stuff like this. Yeah. So, um, yeah. C c come up yeah, We just course. need to make sure that, you know, We're you're in focus. <laughs> so where are we? We're on D sharp. Oh, these are big wings up here, big. Hmm. But buttery soft so far. I want it a little bit sticky, but nice. For a 500 euros guitar, it doesn't look cheap. I mean, the overall look, it's quite good. The look is nice. I the like the tuners, nice. which is important in a lower price range. The less experience you have, the better the tuners really should be. <laughs> yeah, that's true. People who are, who are still learning how to play guitar, how to tune their guitar, they need more help than experienced players. Yeah. And in a 500 euro price range, we are in beginner price range. I mean, upper beginner price range, but still beginner. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna start with the, with the Houston Kettner Black Spirit 200. Okay. That's an amp for, I think, 799. Does a ton of things and it's transistor or Black Spirit technology. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what it means. Um, <laughs> a Black Spirit? It's a Black oh, Spirit. Come on. Spirit, right? Who doesn't L, know a Black Spirit? L Black Spirit con queso. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> but we're only testing this with amps under a thousand because anything else would be ridiculous. All right. There are some. <laughs> there are some. some. <laughs> I like that already. <laughs> You're hearing the uh, Universal Audio Ox and also uh, the 112 combo mic'd and the amps are all going through that combo. So you're hearing combination combo of that. Well, the, the guitar just came out of the box. Well, let's, let's stretch it out a bit. Not bad for being out of the box, actually. 
Ooh, that. The for, strings... beginner, for beginners, this is something that you will probably have to do with all guitars that you buy. I mean, when they come out of the box, it's like you have to stretch the strings always. Yeah, I'm thinking why didn't they stretch the strings when they set it up at the distributor? Yeah, I don't isn't know. that isn't that something they should do? Kind of, because they take all these out and check them and set them up when they reach Germany. Shouldn't stretching out the strings be part of that procedure? I think. No, I maybe. I I, I I don't want to be being asked to my buddies at Musik Meyer, <laughs> but you know, if you take the minute for each guitar, it makes the customer a lot happier. Yeah, probably during the shipping, the guitar changes temperature and all the things that makes it unstable again. Maybe I don't know. That's a nice clean. Okay, if I go here, that's in in between position. A little bit duller than I wanted. Middle. Not back in between. Yeah. Django, what? You play, I think he wants to go up okay. there. So he okay. thinks Leslie is up there, which she is. Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Let's I'm try the clean sounds a little bit. This is the neck position. Wide, wide palette of sounds. I got, I got no problem with anything there, especially for the money. Yeah. Um, the only thing that I never like on, on inexpensive guitars, and it's just it's completely irrelevant, is that this uh, pickup switch sticks out quite a bit. Hmm. See, like it just why does it stick out so much? Yeah. I mean, again, completely irrelevant, but it's something that is weird. It it, it, it signals to me cheap guitar. Um, that's so far the only thing I can bitch about. All right. Um, so let's go to the second channel on that amp. There. Not bad at all. No, <laughs> I like the attack of the pig. It has like special. That's, that's good stuff. Thing. And now more game. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
that's the Ultra Channel of the uh, Houston Kettner. Let's go on bad. to an actual tube amp, which is the Jet City Emilia clocks in it under 600. <laughs> The tuning again where we are. Okay, mm -hmm. we're we're getting more stable. D is saying bye bye a bit. Yeah, it's it's like learning where it has to stay slowly. Good enough. All right. Um, we're moving on to the Laney LA30BL, okay. which is 899. It's a non-master volume. I'm probably not the beginner's amp because that puppy's gonna get very loud, <laughs> very very loud. Um, but hold it back a bit. mellow but beautiful. Yeah. I'm gonna go with the, are these nines? There's their nines. Put tens on here, okay, you get a little bit more tone out of it as well. This doesn't feel or sound like a 500 euro guitar if you ask me. No, no. I think it has lots of character for being a affordable guitar yeah. which normally are more generic. And I have to say that it's closer to a Strat than I expected because Mahogany, Hardtail, yeah, yeah, yeah. 3 plus 3, too much of a difference. But there are some sounds there that might resemble sometimes. Right there. Now we're gonna go, let's do this. I put on some reverb and delay. All right. And I roll over the cable. <laughs> and That's I'm good gonna, for tone. Too. I'm gonna push that Laney <laughs> with the, uh, uh, if you go to the uh, uh, pedal cam, it's uh, Mickey's, no, not, yeah, that yeah, one, easy. That one. Mickey's buddy up there fighting with the switcher. <laughs> Thank you for doing that, by the way. So I push this thing. To me, thank you. A lot of brightness there. Yeah. Which uh, that's coming from the guitar. So what I do is I just roll the brightness off on the pedal. sounds 500 euro guitar 899 for the amp the pedal is about half the price of the guitar okay <laughs> but we're still in a price range where you're under two grand for a full setup including a cap and you're on stage with fully hmm, I think high-end sounds the playability is pretty damn awesome on this yes yes it is and actually I did I wouldn't upgrade the pickups no no no, no. sector stock pickups but I believe they have a nice character and I think it's retain it even when you're playing with distortion which is something sometimes hard to get when you're not uh, playing a very expensive instrument it's not getting muddy or, or, no. or dull if i go to the high gain thing again let's see <laughs> well the last thing we're going to try is that laney all right with the ref g3 because that's ultra high gain monster sound okay 
This is pretty stunning for four ninety nine. Yeah, I mean, what else do you need? This, it's a full on metal monster, if you ask me. Yeah, absolutely. It, and and I think many people will choose it because it has a metal look, actually, because this finish and these inlays are usually associated with metal. But I have the feeling it can do a lot more. Yes, absolutely. It's uh, with the single course, the in between positions. Yeah, this is a great all round axe for the beginner who doesn't quite know yet what they want. Mm -hmm. They definitely want to go on the heavier side, but they might want to play in noodles and bluesy licks and stuff and do absolutely. clean things. And um, uh, <laughs> it's got, it's got a it's got a maple binding with center dots. I know that's not important, but to me it is. It shows detail in the factory mm -hmm. and attention to detail. Center dots. Including one in the first fret. Uh, it's got a uh, te, 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 what? teta de guitarra. Te, teta de guitarra. <laughs> it's got a guitar to it. Um, <laughs> what, do you, can you find anything at fault with this? No, I, I would play very comfortable with this, I think. Yeah. Uh, the, the, the fake binding is beautiful. Uh, I'm gonna go well done, Schechter. That's, yeah, it's beautiful. The only thing is probably what you mentioned, maybe you would choose different inlays, but that's something not really important, actually. Uh, all good. Uh, absolutely. Uh, that, that, that binding is just blowing my mind. Hmm. Um, all the details, the perloid. Um, obviously, it's got a veneer, which is not super deep, but it's got a matching headstock. This is... I would fully recommend that to any of my students when I still had students. Now just do YouTube. And, and um, with time, we would know more about the tuning stability. But yes. so far, it looks it's going to be good. Because no tremolo. Hmm. Stay, stay away from the tremolo on inexpensive guitars. That's, that's what I say. Um, thanks to Mika for hanging out. We're going to do two more of these if you're interested in more inexpensive Schecter guitars. Thanks uh, to Marty from Schecter for sending these. And... Um, uh, animales al final. Al final. That's it. Ah. Animales al final. <laughs> and you won't surrender to the blind leading the blind. 